Hi, my name is Andrew Johnson. I'm one of the residents here at URMC Pathology. Thanks so much for watching our video and I'm excited to give you a tour of our facilities. Let's start by looking at our resident room. Here's our resident room. It's really a space for whatever we might need. Uh, some residents choose to do the majority of their work in here. For others, it is really just a space for downtime. Uh, each resident is provided their own workstation, which includes a microscope, as well as pin boards for us to pin things up on. We're allowed to decorate our workstation however we please, and many, many residents have actually purchased monitors uh, for their workstations. Some of the other things we'd like to highlight in this room are our large screen TV, as well as behind me on the back wall, we have our pet wall, which are pictures of everybody, uh, pets in the department for residents, as well as our snack cabinet, which is just an area that we provide snacks for residents to keep them fed, happy, and healthy. Another perk of the resident room is that it's right down the hall from all of our program leadership, like our chief office, the fellows office, and just a little bit farther down, we have our program coordinator, program director, and our department chair. Welcome to the main surgical pathology suite here at the University of Rochester Medical Center. This is the area that we spend the majority of our time in when we're on surgical pathology rotations. Right down this first hallway here, we have the majority of our surgical pathology attending offices, which makes it extremely convenient for us because they're in such close proximity. It's easy to schedule a sign out or go ask them questions when need be. To my left here, the room we're gonna go into next is our main resident touchdown area within surgical pathology. The resident touchdown space was just recently renovated and newly decorated. We now have eight up and running workstations, two of which are height adjustable and three of which have cameras on the microscopes. Each workstation comes with a dual monitor setup as well as double headed microscopes because we'll oftentimes ask the opinion of the other residents, especially the senior residents on other rotations when we encounter challenging cases uh, throughout our rotation. To my right here is one of our multi-head microscope rooms. These get used for a variety of things, such as didactics, unknown slide sessions, as well as tumor board and consensus conferences. Behind me is our frozen section area, where we sit with attendings during frozen sections to render a diagnosis, and then call down to the ORs to report those diagnoses. Behind me on this side over here is our gross room and our dedicated frozen section cutting area. Here is an example of one of our grossing stations. Our grossing stations are height adjustable and all have a dedicated cassette printer. Each grossing station is compatible with Dragon Dictation and has a scanner for scanning in cases and is stocked with everything one might need to gross. This is our dedicated frozen section space in the gross room in which we prep, cut, and gross all the frozens that we receive. We see a wide variety of frozens and have an amazingly supportive PA staff that help out when things get busy and help cover the frozen service during our protected didactic times. In addition to the multi-head microscope room within the surgical pathology suite, we also have a larger multi-head microscope within the cytopathology suite and an additional one within the hematopathology suite as well. This is the morgue space at URMC. This is where we'll spend the majority of our time during our autopsy rotations. Shown here is one of our two uh, autopsy rooms. This one is our main room and has two autopsy tables as well as two mobile height adjustable workstations. We have a second adjacent autopsy room that has one table that is a negative pressure room for infectious autopsies. Hello everyone, my name is Olivia Sagan and I am a pathology resident here at URMC. I'm going to show you around the CP side of our program. We split our time of our CP rotations between Strong Memorial Hospital as well as our central lab at Bailey Road. Let's start here at Strong Memorial Hospital and start off in the blood bank. On the blood bank rotation, residents act as a primary point of contact for consults, blood product orders, transfusion reaction assessments, and much more. Because of this, we work closely with both clinical teams as well as the techs who work right down the hall from the resident space. We handle a variety of cases and complex patients due to URMC being a level one trauma center, 
multi-organ transplant center, including heart, liver, kidney, and bone marrow, as well as one of the largest hospitals in the region with a dedicated cancer center and pediatric hospital. Additionally, the blood bank houses our accredited immunohematology reference laboratory. The hematopathology rotation consists of both a robust bone marrow service and tissue service. Residents get exceptional one-on-one -on -one teaching and take direct ownership of cases while getting extensive experience with flow cytometry interpretation and working closely with both lab and clinical staff. Also at Strong Memorial Hospital, residents complete their coagulation and apheresis rotations. Residents take part in their chemistry, microbiology, molecular, cytogenetics, and laboratory management rotations at Bailey Road. Here we are at our central laboratory at Bailey Road, which we affectionately call as such. Here is where all of the outpatient labs for the entire URC system are run, as well as some inpatient labs for our hospitals throughout our system. Come on inside and let me show you around. The chemistry lab is fully automated and also houses protein testing, as well as a separate toxicology laboratory. The microbiology lab is state-of-the-art and provides testing in a wide variety of areas, including bacteriology, mycobacteriology, mycology, virology, serology, parasitology, and susceptibility testing. Residents on their molecular and cytogenetics rotations assist with interpretations for both malignancies and genetic diseases. Our next-generation sequencing-based panels currently offered by the lab run on Thermo Fisher platforms. No matter what rotation a resident is on, there is a designated resident touchdown space that provides an area to complete rotation work as well as studying, but always has a great view of the outdoors. Also on campus, there are multiple conference rooms, a workout room, as well as a cafeteria. Thank you so much for joining us on our tour of the University of Rochester Pathology Residency Program. Please follow us on Twitter and Instagram to learn more about our wonderful residents as well as the residency program itself. Hope to see you on the interview trail.